morning. So, Sunday morning, uh, about half past eight. I'm going to go fly. It's going to be a glorious day. It's uh, 7 degrees, uh, so it's pretty cold. Um, I received my uh, parcel yesterday, uh, which is uh, Alpha Girl. So, got it there in the bag. Just uh, there it is. So, I'm going to get that out, get it cleaned up, uh, get it put in some uh, onion sacks and um, a bath and shower. I'm going to get that turned off, get the top box down, get the alpha glow put in it, and then I'm going to top it off with um, some uh, filter floss. So, and that'll be the uh, the bath and shower uh, side. So, uh, I'm just going to finish the brew off and uh, I'll crack on with that. So, cheers. So, just looking at it, uh, looks like some uh, some decent chunks of uh, it in here, which is what we want. What we want. So, as you can see, the bits we need to get it all washed off. So, I'm gonna give that a good hosing down and uh, get the uh, top tier of the back of shower down. Get it get it shoved in there. Right, so that's three equal bags all washed, ready to go in the box. So I'm gonna get that stuck in there now. Right, so that's the uh, proper grog in there, topped off with uh, an inch of uh, filter floss. Uh, so that's uh, good to go now. So all told, I have 80 kilo of Alpha Grog topped off with filter floss and uh, that's my uh, DIY backy shower. So I'm going to get the uh, pipe connected and get it switched back on. Right, so that's the uh, shower back on. Uh, like I say, it's not a torrent of water, it's more like a trickling shower to me. So, uh, that's just a little bit more filtration. So, so there you go. Uh, that won't need changing or cleaning for a while. Uh, yeah, so, so that's that done. Right, so as you can see by the uh, inlets, I've just done a, a fairly substantial water change. I think that was about 250 gallons have been changed, taken out. So that'll do for a couple of weeks, I think. So I'm just going to get it filled back up now. Right, so uh, just to help this uh, new um, moving bed off along, I'm going to stick some of these uh, pier pump there, balls in, just to help it along. To get some more of that. In fact, I think I'll just, uh, there's only a few left in that, so there's only them left in there, so just whack it all in there. Uh, help, help the, uh, the uh, healthy bacteria come along. 
and the filter bath and shower. I've altered it now so it is a trickle shower. So the uh, Alpha Grog uh, you shouldn't need touching for uh, quite, a, quite a while. Pond level is nearly back up to uh, where it should be. I think it needs about another half inch. Uh, uh, it needs to go up another half an inch. But I'm going to leave that for now. I'll just let the uh, I'll let Mother Nature take care of that. So, so that's that. And looking, looking at this, I have uh, a couple of little leaks. There's one on one on that on this uh, connector here, and there's a slight leak on there. It was and there's a slight leak on, on this one here but it's only it's not pissing out uh, all the rest of the pipes they're all right so, so that's that so that's the mechanical side and biological side and then from the moving bed that gets pumped out straight up to the trickle shower so there's a hell of a lot of um, filtration and from the IBC the uh, very pump is inside that so the water comes through the bottom drain passes through the filter uh, uh, the, the um, oh, filter brushes and up the pipe into the seven stage just move that out of the way into the seven stage filter over the sieve through the um, sponges uh, through the um, what do you call it the filter uh, the filter floss on the front the uh, what you call it, uh, like polishing the water, if you will, and then that goes back to the three returns to the pond. So that's that. So that's that's how I've got my. That's how I've got my uh, filtration. Sorry, that's how my filtration works. So I just need to get a few more, um, well, quite a few more actually, a few more um, filter brushes. Get another another two loads of that, another two uh, orders of that. That'll be uh, I think another twenty four brushes. Just drop them in, just to uh, surround the uh, baby pump. And, uh, and that should be it, I think, for the filtration wise. So yeah, it's all uh, it's all come together nicely. So that's me. Uh, another little update from me. And uh, say so if you like the content. Uh, and if you want to help me out, uh, please don't hesitate, just uh, hit the subscribe button, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe, and it, uh, it just helps me out. And, uh, anyway, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my uh, next update or video, so, cheers. So basically, uh, anything that gets through the uh, anything that gets through the filter brushes, 
comes up when I'll get caught in the shed as you can see there down here and uh, over there there are little bits that have been caught not much so so that's working uh, spot on So basically that was a, a breakdown of my uh, my filter. I'd like to have had uh, an easy pod, uh, but I don't want to be paying six, seven hundred pounds straight out for something like that. Whereas this is uh, probably uh, probably work the same if not better because they have uh, I think it's I think it's 90 what is it uh, no I think it's 100 litres it's the 75 litres of uh, K1 micro in there and 25 litres of uh, K3 so that's 100 litres of uh, um, plastic media so that's more than enough in there and uh, like, as I said that will go pump that gets pumped out slowly pumped out up to my trickle shower so like I said there's um, umpteen amounts of uh, filtration and as they say, you can never have enough. Uh, you never, you can never have enough filtration on your pond. It can be underfiltered, but not overfiltered. So, yeah. So that's my little breakdown of my uh, filtration. And looking at the uh, the very pump, I can't really have it higher than four. 40% because uh, the the water flow it just causes a ton of water over the uh, the uh, filter floss so it probably wouldn't work properly uh, oh sorry what it does it comes down through the, through the sponges and up do this here and uh, turn it up any further it causes a torrent of water over this and, uh, so it probably wouldn't work properly even though it's working there uh, well it probably wouldn't uh, let's say this is for polishing the water this end part so yeah so I'll keep it out for half an hour and uh, I think it should be all right for the same because I've also got this uh, even bed and the uh, triple shower as I say there's 8 kilos of, uh, of alpha grog in them two boxes there and uh, as uh, the uh, an inch of um, filter floss at the top of that so yeah it's more than enough, more than enough filtration uh, for that pond there, so I'm happy with that. So the uh, flower bed that's been planted for a couple of weeks now, uh, and if I just have a walk down, already we're starting to see a bit of colour. In various plants, some of them have. Uh, Let's get bugs on them. Like that one there. That one's got bugs on. That's gone the right colour, lovely colour that. That's how it is flowering. That's got bugs on. 
That one's starting to flow in. Get down, Tom. Get down. That's got woods on it there. Get down. Couple of little flowers on that one there. Woods on that one there. Uh, it's a bit early for the lavender to start flowering yet. There's a nice, uh, nice bud on that one there. This one started to take colour. That one's got buds on it. That one's got buds on it. And I can't wait for the, uh, the ferns to start growing. So I've got uh, one fern there. Uh, fern there, I absolutely love them. They remind me of the forest, and there's a fern there, and there's also a fern there. So it should look pretty, uh, pretty good when it starts to uh, <coughs> mature. And uh, no, you're not a flower or a shrub. You're just nosy, aren't you? Go on, get down. And also, we take a look around here. These have started uh, to grow from last year. They grow about two, two foot high, two and a half foot high, and they have uh, lovely purple flowers on. Same goes for that side. Um, the roses. They've got all new shoots on. This is the new foliage. The, uh, the dark, the reddy browny colour leaves. There's a new, new foliage here. And that one. And um, the little miniature roses. Without doing too well, doing too well. That it's got some new shoots on this one down here. Uh, and some new shoots, a couple of new leaves on this rose here as well. I mean, the uh, roses are really, really nice, but um, they tend to get green fly and. Uh, Green fly, green fly uh, spoil the, uh, the rose. So, yeah, that's my uh, flowers. And looking further down, we have uh, a shrub here. Shrub here. This has. It's looking a bit sorry for itself, but it will uh, it will perk up that. We have another fern there. Uh, so that shrub there. These three shrubs are all the same. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, and this see has purple, lovely purple flowers on it. That there. This is a hollyhock. And the grass here. I replanted that, it seems to have died off. Got to sort that out. So, should have a nice bit of colour in this bed. Um, and obviously, I've got the, uh, the flamingo tree. And I've also got various plants along that back bed there. So I have like three yuccas, one down there, one there, one there, uh, and agapanthus there. I've had that two years, it's never flowered, so hopefully it'll flower this year. Uh, down the out under that pipe there, there is um, lavender, we have a couple of lavenders there, and there's a couple of lavenders down that end, and some other uh, ornamental grasses, uh, but obviously they, they, they died off these, 
but uh, they're just starting to come back to life now uh, and I have some, um, they're just zooming a little bit I have some uh, coloured ferns, so I've got a yellow on there there's a dark green one they can just see and I have another down that side, a blue one so um, when the uh, when the summer comes I'm going to have some more plants anyway so basically I want to uh, do that bed there so I don't have to touch it so once I get the uh, the uh, the, uh, um, the right amount of plants to cover it all I'm going to get some uh, chipped bark just to cover it uh, so that, that means uh, less weeding to do and uh, once it all gets established it should look uh, really really good so that's my, uh, my uh, flower beds right so uh, as you can see uh, I've got a few more uh, plants to add so I've uh, got myself a couple of uh, hanging bas baskets and uh, brackets and I've uh, got a tray of lavender, uh, English lavender uh, and some uh, tray of uh, geranium so what I'll do is I'll get, these, get them all uh, planted and put in position and uh, um, I'll show you what I've done Okay, so I've got the brackets up and the, the basket. So I've got the uh, the brackets I got from uh, B and M's. There's a nice little bird on it, and the baskets I got from uh, B and Q, and it was uh, two for twenty-five pound. So there's a nice variety of uh, plants in there. Got some ivy that'll grow down, hang down, should I say? And uh, a couple of other plants as well. So the other basket is the same. Is the same. Uh, slightly different plants inside this. I think this looks like a little uh, miniature fern and uh, some more ivy and some uh, I don't know if these are pansies or what but uh, looks very nice and uh, yeah sets the pond off uh, very nice very nicely so okay the uh, lavender, so I've got six lavender plants, uh, with a B&M bargain and I've got the uh, geraniums from the EQ so I'm going to uh, put them, they're going to go up like I said uh, in the previous video I'm just going to space them out along here and uh, give them a good watering hopefully that should uh, by the middle of summer should be lovely, lovely and colourful. So I'll uh, get on with that now. Right, so I've put uh, an English lavender there and a geranium there and a geranium there. So that's that flower bed finished. <coughs> and. Uh, over here, I'll just have to uh, nip over the wall. Right. So, I've uh, put uh, some lavender there, some lavender there, geranium there, lavender down there. So, and these, these. Uh, slabs here 
these are my stepping stones so when I have to come round the back of the pond to attend to the uh, back of shower so yeah a couple of months time when uh, they've been watered and uh, they have established we should have some uh, lovely colour this is a geranium from uh, last year this one as well uh, and that reminds me I need to put some um, slug pellets down so I'll go and get some of them out of the shed now get them scattered down there to protect the plants and uh, give them a good water in and, uh, and that's that so cheers yeah so if you look we've had a good scattering of uh, these little blue pellets or slug pellets so got a good, good dose of uh, slug pellets Right the way down. Let's get off this stepping stone. So as you can see they go down there. And all we've got to do now is wait for the uh, plants to mature and get established. And like I said we should have some uh, lovely colour on the back of here. Okay so as you can see from the, uh, the dripping water all the uh, new plants have uh, had a good watering and uh, and that's that right so i'd like to say uh, thank you for taking the time to watch my video and um, i'll see you all very soon cheers